Some of my favorite men in romance novels are empathetic, compassionate, and nurturing. They give the best hugs around and make you swoon with their nuzzling and forehead kisses. I want to talk to you today about some of my favorite heroes who really soothe the anxieties of the heroines in these books. Hi, my name's Fee and welcome to my channel, Mama Needs to Read Romance, and gush about these guys. <laughs> Like me, you enjoy a good cinnamon roll hero. But today we're even diving a little bit deeper and we're gonna talk about cinnamon roll heroes that specifically are excellent at nurturing and being loving and helping a gal who's got a little extra anxiety. So get cozy and let's get going. I'm gonna start with one I'm absolutely obsessed with right now, The Hot Shot by Kristen Callahan. It's book four of the Game On series, which is all about football players. And this guy, Finn, he is strong, but he's also sensitive. Now he puts up a good game. He acts like he's just somebody who's only good for a hookup, which unfortunately has kept Chess, who is our heroine, at arm's length. They decide to just be friends because she only wants a relationship and he's not capable of that apparently. But when tragedy strikes and she has to move in with him, you see a whole new side of Finn. He comes to her aid. So picture like big broad shoulders, he smells amazing, he keeps pulling her in, and their attraction just continues to grow and grow. And I still haven't finished the book yet, but I'm dying to do so. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, this is probably gonna end up being at least a five star, maybe even a six. So spicy, slow burn, good stuff. Another book that I'm in the midst of right now is The American Roommate Experiment. This one is so much fun. I've never read Elena Armas before, and let me tell you, this is a hot, hot man, I have to say. But I wasn't really swooning until he had the chance to really come to Rosie's assistance. So we have Rosie, she's a writer, and one day her roof caves in. She lives in New York City, and she's in a bad building, obviously, because her roof caves in. So she has to go stay at her best friend's apartment. Her best friend's away on her honeymoon. However, her best friend's cousin, Lucas, comes and he was already planning on staying there. So they have to stay together. And it's a lot of fun. This guy's a smooth operator. I'm telling you, I've been enjoying it immensely. But like I said, the swoons really start happening once she heads back to her place to assess the damage and has to deal with her dreadful landlord. And Lucas, all of a sudden, he goes from just a friend to this incredibly protective man. He just wants her to be comfortable and he wants her to feel safe with him, which is just fantastic. Every time she is anxious, he's just there with the best longest hugs on the planet. He's always like kind of moving his thumb over her clavicle. This guy is the king of like the little touches and the cozy feels. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm probably like a third of the way through. She needs inspiration for her novel, which is a romance novel. And so he is going to pretend to date her and oh, it's definitely gonna go down. I mean, it's gonna be so good. I cannot even wait. Every time she's experiencing anxiety, either with her apartment situation or with her writing, he is there with a cronut and a hug and it is lovely. Let's talk about alien romance for a minute. Here is book five of the Ice Planet Barbarian series, Barbarian's Prize. We have Tiffany and she is the prize that these bachelor barbarian aliens are trying to win because she's one of the few single ladies left on the planet. While they're all trying to win her love, doing various competitions that are very entertaining to read about, we have Saluk. Now Saluk has been watching her from afar and he is truly one of my favorite heroes ever. Alien or human, I don't care. He doesn't realize that Tiffany has had a great deal of trauma in her past. She has been sexually assaulted and she does not feel comfortable being with a man, Saluk doesn't know her past. He doesn't know why she's standoffish or afraid of relationships or being in any way intimate with a man, but he's there for her. He doesn't care if she never shows interest in him. He just wants to comfort her. Every thought just about in his mind is, how can I be there for her? She's upset. Let me help her. Let me soothe all of her anxiety. Does she need me to hold her? What does she need? And I will do it. He is so so 
selfless and so caring. I'm like the president of his fan club. As she grows comfortable, it gets spicy. It's a good time. I loved this book so much. It's probably my favorite of the whole series. I'm only in book seven, but still really loved watching him take care of her and be there for her no matter what. I have to chuckle when I think of this next one, The Deal. It's a hockey romance that I almost didn't read because Garrett initially really turned me off, but my fabulous bookish online friends clued me in. They said, stick around, Garrett's going to grow on you. Hannah is hurting. She's still recovering from a sexual assault that left her and her family reeling several years ago. She's been with boyfriends since, but she can't really enjoy it. Enter Garrett. Garrett wants to help her learn to enjoy enjoy it. And he will do whatever it takes to make sure that she's comfortable and satisfied. And I loved seeing him fall so hard for her and her for him and just seeing him just be there for her and be whatever she needed. Meeting her where she was at without judgment. It was a beautiful thing. And she helps him as well. And I highly recommend it if you like a good sports college romance too. You've probably heard me talk about this one before, Don't Hex and Drive, book two of the Stay a Spell series. Did you know though that part of the reason I'm so in love with Devraj Kumar is because he really recognizes Isadora's anxiety. Devraj wants to pursue Isadora, but he doesn't want to make her uncomfortable. He's really good at respecting boundaries. I loved his slow seduction of her. It almost hurt my heart in times after they were intimate when he would want to show her more affection, but he knew that she was uncomfortable. So he would hold himself back from trying to kind of smother her. Like he didn't want her to feel that way. He just wanted her to always be comfortable. I also laugh when I think of one of my favorite scenes in the whole book when he's helping her with her anxiety regarding driving. And so he decides to teach her how to drive. It had me chuckling so hard before it turned spicy. <laughs> It was such a good story, and I loved how this Stygorn warrior vampire, who is a former Bollywood actor, was able to calm any of the fears and worries of one of the sweetest witches, Isadora Savoie, in this lovely book. This is cute with a capital C, let me tell you. The Seat Filler by Soraya Wilson. I will go toe to toe with anyone who says that this isn't spicy because there's no love scenes in it. I'm telling you, the kissing scenes, mwah, they're fabulous. So let me tell you a little more about this. We have Juliet. She's a dog groomer who winds up one day finding herself as a seat filler at the Academy Awards. She's got to sit next to one of the hottest actors around, Noah Douglas. They start up a friendship that it almost immediately becomes more. He pursues her hard and he is a doll. The thing is, she is terrified of kissing, which means of course he's got to help her with her problem. And the way that they slowly build up to the really good kissing scenes was just yummy. He did not judge her for her kissing anxiety at all. He was there for her every step of the way, offering her whatever support she needed to get through it. And just when she would have like panic attacks, he was just so supportive and comforting. And I just loved it so much. So we've talked about fantasy romance, paranormal romance, and a lot of contemporary romance, but you know what we haven't talked about? Historical romance. I'm gonna talk about one of my very favorite series, The Raven Elves by Lisa Kleypas. This is the only book I don't own in the series, <laughs> Devil in Spring. I love how Gabriel helps Pandora bless her heart, she had her ears boxed by her dad when she was a child. Her dad had terrible anger issues and he took it out on her one day. She developed an infection in her eardrum that was never properly treated. And because of that, she has issues with balance. She's terrified to dance. So finally she tells Gabriel about this and he decides to help her with her problem. He has her sister who's featured in another book in the series play the piano and he takes her into his family's ballroom basically and it's just the two of them with the sister off in the distance playing piano the way that he comforts her his strength is so compelling so enthralling while he's holding her close and dancing with her and telling her that no one is going to harm her and how he's just going to protect her i loved it so much 
Well, that's it for me. I know already. Could we do this all day? Yes. I'm going to continue to compile more lists of guys that are cinnamon roll heroes or soothe anxiety. I've got another video of cinnamon roll heroes linked above. There's someone else that you think I need to know about and that the rest of us need to know about. Leave a comment below. I'm always looking for a nurturing, sweet hero. Give me a gentleman any day. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you're enjoying whatever you're reading, whether the guy's helping the gal with her anxiety or not. Until next time. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.